Demigods and Goddesses. What's good? Welcome back to another reaction video. Now, what brings us here today, bro? This was not planned at all. I just got on to go choose the Ultra Tail episode two so we could react to it. I'm about to get to it. Then I saw something and said, hey, yo, bro, look at me. Look at me. I didn't look at it at first. I was like, look at through, you know what I'm saying? Man, grab me by my head. He said, God, punch me in the stomach like Goku. He get punched in the stomach and go, God. better cry when you look at my eyes and this is what it was that grabbed me like that boom right there six in mono ending animation uploaded by Go. upload seven hours ago 37k views i'm gonna click on that right now we gonna watch this so i'm gonna click on this y'all gonna let the intro play we're gonna get into it i already skipped the intro we've seen like a thousand times already kind of just for the new people but let's get into it you really thought you really thought you could sit with us stupid so before we push this play button just want to let y'all know this ending right here changed my whole life with little nightmares after it happened i looked up like a thousand theory videos i know all types of different theories i can't get into talking about because then this reaction would last forever all I gotta say is my theory right now. Little Nightmares is a continuous nightmare of each of the characters and for which they cannot proceed to escape this nightmare of a repeated cycle. Mono turned into the tall man and I feel like that cycle has happened before and it keeps continuing which makes it a nightmare. And, these, and it finally explains why they call it Little Nightmares in my theory is because I was like, oh, these are all nightmares, but why little? Because these little guys aren't even nightmares. They're like, just trying to escape this madness, right? But they are experiencing a nightmare. The little nightmares. They are the little nightmares. And to be a little nightmare, you go through a little nightmare, which continuously repeats. It's, it's kind of it's some clairvoyant type of thoughts right here, but that's, that's all I'm gonna say, bro. And then six is the lady. I presume. As we know, she wears the hoodie when she goes crazy crackhead tall and gets those long distorted arms and everything. You see in her room, there is pictures of her face scratched out like she doesn't like her face. And we know that the lady wears a mask into which she doesn't like her face. We also know in Little Nightmares 1's for collectibles, what does Six get? A mask. You get different types of masks to wear. It could have been different type of raincoats if the raincoat was really that important. I think the raincoat, she just wears it to hide her face. Which uh, eventually she thinks becomes ugly or something. And she breaks all the mirrors. Um, and to back up this statement, you could be like, oh, it's just a collectible, you know what I'm saying? Okay, well, Mono, for example, he doesn't want anyone to see his face. They didn't give him a mask, they gave him a bag. And then you get different types of hats that you put on Mono. And then in the very end, Mono wears a hat a business hat, you know what I'm saying? Like the tall man's hat. So I'm just saying, bro, everything is connecting. Now, the reason that Six did that to Mono? The heck do I know, bro? I think Six is just evil, bro. Like, what What the heck, Six? I mean, did she see her face and be like, oh, well, you look like the tall man. I don't think I should bring you with me. Like, is that what she thought? I don't know. It's, it's all theories up until now. And I'm very immersed in this little nightmares uh, universe, as you can tell. I haven't watched the reaction yet. We're like, Four minutes to the video but if you guys are listening to this you know what i'm saying i'm very immersed you guys can tell that now so best believe when little nightmares 2 dlc drops we're going to be playing it live like we did little nightmares 2 so i will be announcing it have your noties on you'll see community post announcements and you will know when we do that uh, also little nightmares 3 which will be longer to come than the dlc of little nightmares 2 i think they're dropping dlc for little nightmares 2 i don't really know but i assume that they are I don't know what they would drop it about, but just like in Little Nightmares 1, we probably couldn't guess they would have dropped it about the gnome. Uh, so yeah, I did research on that as well. Even though I did not play it live or play it at all, I did research on it and I pretty much, you know, figured out what happened in that DLC because like I said, I'm, in, I'm enhancing the lore. And then the um, Very Little Nightmares game for the phone, you know, I did some research on that as well. Um, and yeah, with all that research, I realized that more people are, like, more little kids are dying besides... Um, well, not besides, but there are more little kids and they're dying, like, that are like these little nightmares, but they don't have powers, really, so it's crazy, man. 
the the universe is deeper than I ever would have thought of when I first started Little Nightmares and then went into Little Nightmares 2. It only was Little Nightmares 2 where I realized, dang, this is actually something extremely deep that I don't really know much about. And then I went way into it. Um, but yeah, that, that's it, y'all. That's it. Um, that's my theory on it. Um, I don't know if it's true, but it makes sense to me. Let me know what y'all think down in the comments below as to why 6 would drop mono. I don't, I don't know... I'm not too concrete on my thoughts about that besides her seeing his face and then was like, oh snap, he looks like this. And it's funny that everybody's making fan art of Mono and Six when, Ma when Six literally just dropped a Mono. Like, what the heck? Did y'all did y'all not see the ending? Y'all heard y'all and Mono and Six fan art like they together? Bro. Did, did y'all not see the ending? Also, the pictures I'm showing on screen of them being together, I will have a link down in the description if you guys want to see the authors or the creators. If I can find them. If I can't find them, I'll just put them in there. But yeah. Link to this video will be down in the description. Let's go ahead and get to the reaction. <clears throat> we'll leave a like. I'm, I'm assuming it's gonna be fire just by the thumbnail, but let's see. <laughs> yeah, this will be spoilers, by the way. I hope y'all watched me play Little Nightmares before y'all clicked on this randomly. Oh, there it is, the house. I'm assuming again. Looks kind of taller and older on this one. There goes six. You bum. You bum. Dang it. I still, I still like six though. I don't know why, bro. It's like she's done such crazy things. She ate the dang gnome, which I found out were actual kids turned into gnomes by the lady. Also, people were saying six turned uh, some other kids into gnomes when we found her in the house and she had her. Uh, mask off she turned some kids into gnomes we saw some gnomes running around and it's supposed to be a sequel a little Imers too i believe oh that's what they're going with yeah they see the face wow wow but six he didn't have to turn into that man if you saved him you just continue in a cycle. And also, Little Nightmares 2 is a sequel because Six is going back to the mall to repeat her nightmare. You know what I'm saying? It's a continuous cycle, bro, until someone breaks it. Like, Six, you have the opportunity to break it. Break the cycle, bro. You could have freaking saved Mono, man. Now the cycle going to continue. He's going he's gonna to turn old and tall, and then the door will shut again, and then another Mono will come to... Is he gonna give him a weird smile? Like a crazy smile? Oh. Oh yeah, here's the ending. This is the extra secret uh, ending scene. Also, thank you for telling me that it existed, by the way. Your comment will be on the screen. I think it uh, was, start with a J? I can't remember your name right now. Hold on. You're on the screen though, thank you. I know you be in the streams. It starts with a J or an R or something. Your profile picture is like, blue and white i'm a visual learner so it's hard for me to like tag on to names but you know visuals i can get it it was like jk something i think fire animation though and we got that discussion put into this as well shout out to paul make sure y'all check him out bruh I'm gonna go ahead and subscribe to him. I like this. Uh, Little Nightmares 2, but it's an anime. That's what he put in the description. That's a good, it's a good side title for sure. Um, so yeah. I'm glad we dropped this reaction video. I did want to get those my theory out to you guys after finishing Little Nightmares. I kind of built this up upon finishing it like three days after, and I was gonna record a video of me explaining it and stuff and uh, reacting to the secret ending because I did not see it yet. But uh, I'm glad we waited and we got this opportunity to do it with this six and mono ending animation i hope you guys did enjoy the reaction if y'all you know learned something from for little nightmares if y'all got y'all's own theories about it and your facts to back it up and whatnot uh, let me know down in the comments below you know what i'm saying feel free to you know what i'm saying i ain't the only one that's gonna see them there's gonna be a lot of other people in there that may see them as well and see your theories and stuff so even if i don't get to see a comment hey y'all can just discuss it down there below what y'all think the ending was about 
Uh, I do think Six Saw his face got scared probably. But on the other hand, um, I leave this to theory and I and I'll accept other ones because at the same time, Six should have dang well knew that Mono literally held this girl's hand throughout the whole story. He was he was with her. He was chilling with her. And he literally walked her through. He helped her out. He wasn't just using her. Like, I feel like Six is the one that be using people just to get to where she needs to go, you know? Uh, just, I mean, because why the heck would she eat the gnome at the end? What the heck was that about, you know? And uh, when he applied or gave her food, I thought maybe she, he could, she couldn't eat that food, so she had to eat the gnome, you know? Uh, I made, I gave that up to theory one time, but I, I really don't know anymore, so I'm leaving it up, you know what I'm saying? So whatever, so. Yeah, I just got into some stuff. I totally just forgot what I was even talking about at the start. That gnome thing just really got into me, bruh. Oh, yeah, why she dropped uh, Mono. So, yeah, like, she should have remembered, like, he literally held her hand throughout the whole game. She, he helped her out. Yeah, when she turned into a monster, he ran after her. He didn't try to go away and just leave the place and let her be a monster. He went and saved her, you know what I'm saying? As much as much as it took. And then at the very end part, when he, when he you know, fixed her and she wasn't a monster anymore, she, she had him, uh, or he had her, you know, come with him and still try to survive and stuff, you know? He was chilling with her. So I don't know why she did that, bro. Some more things can be explained in Little Nightmares 3. I feel like with all this stuff up in the air of un things being unexplained, we might need it even a game after Little Nightmares 3, like a Little Nightmares 4. But let's see what they do with Little Nightmares 3. They've got to make another one. If they don't, I'll be very disappointed. I mean, I feel like they're going to make one with how things ended, without a doubt. But, um, yeah, that's it for the reaction. Hope you guys did enjoy it. was kind of a reaction type of and then slash discussion, you know? Kind of like a dual reaction, reaction to this animation, as well as to just what happened in the game. Um, but yeah, see you guys in the next one. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, leave a like if you did, subscribe if you're new, join the Rock Crew. Then hit the notification button, let y'all know when we go live and when a video drops, so y'all can be there. Or when a community post goes up and you guys need to vote in those, so you can kind of control what we're going to drop next on here. The recent one we had was, do you guys like pixel games more, anime, or do you like... What is it? Horror games. And this that wasn't important. That was a very important poll. I don't know if you guys noticed that. But it really was. So, uh, Undertale, you know, is a pixel game, right? Not too much anime to it besides the animation that we watch on YouTube. Um, so, that determines, like, what, what type of pixel games we're going to be playing. We're not just going to be playing any type of pixel games because anime won the poll. Um, we're going to be playing more anime-ish type pixel games. You know what I'm saying? More kawaii desu. You know what I'm saying? Or, um... Yeah, just, just anime-type pixel games, you know? Even, even like, horror-type ones, you know? We'll do that as well, as long as it's anime-styled, you know? Um, which, I don't tell Grizzly isn't too much anime-styled, but, I mean, it mentions it and whatnot, but... That's besides the point. So, anime one, so we'll be playing, like, more anime-type games. If a game drops that's anime-related, I will now do a video on it, because I wouldn't have before. I didn't think you guys were that much into it. But, obviously, you guys are from that poll, so, yeah. We'll do some more anime, uh, anything anime related, we'll do it. So if this war animated or anime related, we'll do it. Also, if I just want to play the game in general, I'll do it anyways. But you guys put anime in there, it really makes it stand out in the margin. And so if you guys see any big anime games drop, feel free to recommend them. And we will definitely play them at this point. You know what I'm saying? That's just how important the polls are. It really steers. If you guys would have done Pixel, I probably would have not played any anime games on this channel, really. Unless I really, really felt like I needed to. So... Yeah, but as for like Resident Evil, which is just kind of just straight horror, um, definitely gonna play that just because I like it personally. So we'll probably live stream that. Um, and anything else that personally I like, uh, usually do that. And then you guys recommend stuff for me to explore, like the anime and all that. Okay, now I'm really heading out though. Uh, keep Devon, love you all, have a good day or night. Uh, and yeah, peace.